Hi, I'm Bernard Jones, and I have the pleasure of serving on the worship team. Our great verse today is found in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Many years ago, while teaching a small group of beginning flute students, I complimented one fifth grader on her progress. You see, the flute can be a very hard and frustrating instrument for many beginners. She responded, oh, it's not hard, just tricky. And how she viewed the challenge of how to get a sound, where do the fingers go amongst all those keys, which fingers go down while the others go up, her attitude and perspective taught me much that day. She said, it's not hard, just tricky. And likewise, our perspective and attitude of how the Lord works is important. Today's verse reminds us that the Lord is not slow. He is patient. He is sovereign, holy, righteous, and just. But his power is tempered by love, grace, and forgiveness and mercy. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. slowness. He is patient. A promise is only as good as the character of the person who makes the promise. We've all known people who, when they promise something, we might think to ourselves, don't hold your breath on that one. However, if the Lord promises something, it is a sure thing. What is his promise? Well, in Matthew 16, verse 27, Jesus said, For the Son of Man is going to come in his Father's glory with his angels, and then he will reward each person according to what he has done. Throughout the Bible, the Lord promises accountability, yet mercy. As in Acts 1, for the men of Galilee were watching Jesus ascend into heaven, it had only been a moment since the promise was restated. When Peter wrote this letter to the church, it had been two or three decades since Jesus went away. Now, today, it has been 2,000 years since Jesus departed. It doesn't matter how long it has been. Jesus was, is, and will be true to his word. He will return. The second part of, of our verse says, He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. The Lord is waiting for every person to have a change of heart. I am so glad that the Lord is patient. He waited for me while I was mindlessly walking in my sin, thinking that I was doing just fine, not knowing that spiritually and potentially eternally, I was a dead man. And that is true for all of us until we meet the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. Until then, we are dead in our sin. But once we meet Jesus, our heart is our part is to respond with trust. We trust by loving, obeying, and worshiping the Lord. I pray that you have a wonderfully blessed day in the Lord.